Yeah, I'm in Gotham City in a Batmobile. Even though it get crazy, niggas don't talk like Swayze. It's alright, we're about to catch up right now. Drill pride. Drill pride, guys. Drill pride. It's a lot going on when it comes to the drill pride situation. There was a transmission that sat there and says she um has her only fans with your favorite drill rapper. I didn't post it on my Instagram, but ma majority of the um, miscellaneous drill pages posted it. And it turned out to be nobody, like no drill rapper that any of us knows nor cares about. It was basically its, um, you know, significant other that raps from time to time, but does only fans with the transmission. So I looked at that situation, right? And I was like, while it was going on, there was like, there was drill rappers, bro, that was like popping up in the comment section or something like, yo, it ain't me. Nah, it ain't me. Yo, stop playing. It ain't me. Stop saying my name. Bro, people wasn't even saying their names, bro. They just wanted to attach themselves to this thing that was like semi going viral on the internet, bro. Which, which called me to question, like, bro, how deep is it? Pause. Cause that sounds crazy, but how deep is your um search for some type of relevancy in some type of way, shape, or form? If a transmission is saying, "Hey guys, I got your favorite drill rapper blowing my back out on OnlyFans," and you have some drill rappers pulling up in the comment section saying, "Stop playing with my name, guys! It ain't me," and no one said their name, no one even mentioned that it was possibly you. You get what I'm saying? But they pulled up in those comments section like, yo, is that like to me it was a social experiment. It was a social experiment as far as I'm concerned. At this point, I feel like, you know, if if a man comes out and says, Hey, I've gave your favorite drill rapper a BJ behind BJ's at Gateway in Brooklyn. You know what I'm saying? I was at Gateway and I gave him a BJ's behind BJ's. You feel me? I think you'll have your favorite drill rappers hopping up in the comment section, even though if they not mentioned, no one said it was possibly them or nothing. They'll hop up in the comment section and say, hey, guys, stop playing, man. It ain't me. Hey, yo, bro, you want to be a part of something so bad, even something that I honestly would not attach myself to. That's kind of crazy. But I feel like we're in this new era of um hashtag drill pride. It's drill pride, bro. And I don't think I, I know. And I don't find anything wrong with it. Live and let live. This is drill pride, bro. We're in a whole nother era. When it comes to New York City drill. So let's check this out real quick. Because, you know, C Blue and um, UG's was going back and forth because some transmission said that UG's blew its back out or something like that or whatever have you. Look, man, there's a lot going on. So let's check this out real quick. <laughs> Hold up, do it again. I'm not going to get that angry, me personally. You feel Yo, me? you really a troll, bro. Nah, like, nah. I ain't going to lie. Nah, me personally, he start bringing up other shit, trying to change the topic. That's not the topic. You can't be telling niggas suck your dick if you gay. You feel me? Because I think you dead ass, and I don't go that way. So I don't want to talk to you because I don't suck dick. Oh. So me and you cannot sit on the same live together if you're going to tell me suck your dick and you low-key gay. I, I don't want to talk to you, mud. You feel me? You can't tell no, me, not me suck dick. I'm not going to lie. See, Blue, Christopher, Christopher Blue is probably one of the funniest 
you know, little drill rappers that came out of the Bronx, bro. He's very entertaining. Pause, pause. But <laughs> look, I'm going to keep it a buck with you. Screaming to the top of your lungs, you're not gay, kind of doesn't, you know what I'm saying? Help your, um, your point, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't help your, um, it, it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't, like, it doesn't help, <laughs> bro. I'm telling you right now. I'm telling you right now. Now, when C Blue sat there and said, yo, I wouldn't get that mad if I wasn't gay and this, that, and that. Bro, come on. If some, I'm sure, I'm sure you'll get a little pissed. Somebody sitting there saying something about you that's not true. But yeah, getting on a live and screaming doesn't really help your cause. I ain't gonna lie, but this is Drill Pride, bro. Y'all seen what C Blue was on? Oh, come on. Let's say and keep it a buck, bro. Y'all seen what C Blue was on, bro? With um, what's the name? Let's really, let's really keep it a buck because I'm tired of these people saying like, you know what I'm saying? Look, look, look. Christopher Blue, he dropped a song with Set the Trend named "I Need You." It was named "I Need You." Drill pride, bro. Drill pride. Seti Blue is officially back, my nigga. Look. Look. Name a cuter couple right now. I'll give you a second. I'll give you a second. Name a cuter couple right now. Go ahead. Drill pride. And look, look at this right here. C Blue commented on Seti's live when he got his ice, like he, he first got his um grills or whatever have you. And Seti said, I mean, and C Blue said, Set could finally give me hair with ice in his mouth. Bro, we in a drill pride era right now, all right? So I could understand C Blue doing his whole like, yo, I'm exposing in this standard third type of situation. But bro, we're in a drill pride era. Your drill rappers is playing gay games and all types of stuff. You get what I'm saying? Playing gay games and stuff. And I have no problem with it. It's all right. But it's like you got C. Blue calling out the face of Africa. When when C. Blue got a whole situation going on with SETI, they was breaking each other windows and cars, bro. It was ridiculous. Hold on. Let me, let me see if I can look that up real quick, bro. They was breaking each other windows and cars, bro. It was the most ridiculous thing I ever seen, bro. It was crazy, bro. Look, look, look. Let's see if I can find that real quick. Bro, some yo, bro, said he broke his window, bro. Like that's that's legit some something that you like, you know what I'm saying? That's legit something that your girl do. Look right here. Look, 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 look. Uh, bro, happened? this what we doing? This what we doing, Jeremiah? Bet. Jeremiah. Pet. 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 Jeremiah. Pet. Pet. Word to my dad, bro. Word to my dad. Word to my dad. I really hope you ready for this shit, bro. I really hope you ready, bro. I really hope you ready. Any trendy nigga cannot come around me. Word to my dad. I'm not jacking no trendy nigga. Trendy to my dick, nigga. It's lit. Word to my dad. It's lit, nigga. It's lit. Word to my dad. I'm not jacking no trendy nigga. Trendy to my dick, nigga. It's lit. Word to my dad, nigga. It's lit, nigga. I'm not jacking nobody, nigga. I'm smoking your father, nigga. Suck my dick, nigga. I'm smoking your dad, nigga. I'm smoking your father, nigga. Suck my dick, nigga. You can't come back from this, nigga. You want to break my car? You want to break my car? Come outside, Jeremiah. Come outside. Come outside. Now you see you see how he said you can't come back from this, right? This was like a good four to five months ago. They're cool now. They're cool. You ever sat there and went through shit with your girl, bro? Like really went through something? And you said to yourself, you can't come back from this. It's over. And then like a good, you know what I'm saying? Y'all give each other a little space next thing you know. You, you, you know? Y'all done had a whole blowout on... um. I said blowout. Y'all done had a whole blow up situation on um on on, on Instagram. Y'all going back and forth in the stories. Everyone's looking at the stories, sitting there like, oh 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 oh. Y'all exposing each other. She talking about she found doodle -doo stains in your drawers when she was doing the laundry. You talking about how um you know she um. 
you know, you you saying petty stuff like, oh, uh, she, she 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 ain't shave her booty hole in like three months. Like, shorty out here looking like Harry Potter, but want me to put my face down there. She got me messed up. You know what I'm saying? People just saying a bunch of stuff back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. You feel me? And we're over there with the popcorn eating, looking at it like, damn, damn. Oh, shit. What'd she say about his mother? His mother boy had it? What? Oh, that's crazy. You feel me? And then they get back together. This is what this sea blue and set the trend situation was, bro. It was, it's really like a relationship. Come outside, bro. Come outside, bro. Come outside, bro. What am I dead, bro? What's my dad? I'm not... Oh my God. Oh my God, Jeremiah. Oh my God. And Jeremiah is what really shows you that there's still love there. C Blue still loves Set the Trend even after he broke his car, bro. Jeremiah. Jeremiah. Oh no, you didn't. Oh my god, I'm smoking your father, nigga. Suck my dick. You wanna break my car? Yo, what the fuck? Bro, I remember being tight at my girl. And I say, yo, I say, yo, bitch, suck my dick. You gave me tight. And she looking at me like, that's what I do. How is that even <laughs> something that's, that's, that I should consider as disrespectful? Yeah, <laughs> shit, I'll suck your dick right now. What's the problem? <laughs> oh, fuck. I low-key felt stupid Yo, after I said that. Where you at, Jeremiah? Where you at, Jeremiah? Where you at, Jeremiah? Stop calling my phone. Stop calling. Stop calling me. Jeremiah. But there you have it, guys. I feel like Jeremiah. I proved my point. I feel like I proved Where my point. But um, yeah, guys. So you know, we're in this certain era right now where it's like drill pride, bro. Drill pride. All right. Hashtag. I started the drill pride hashtag. And if you if you guys are prideful about your drill, you know what I'm saying? Just do what you gotta do. Do what you gotta do. What are they saying in the comment section? Hmm. Why is he so mad, Ayo? I mean, bro, I would kinda be tight of some transmission saying that I did something that I never did. I ain't gonna front though, I don't think I would even like address it. Uh, I'll be like, yo, it is what it is, especially with, um, especially with, um, what you call it, C. Blue. I'm like, yo, how you, how C. Blue going to sit there and try to call me out as the face of Africa? Like, I'm the face of Africa, right? Say if I'm used G's, right? I'm the face of Africa. You sitting there calling me out about some, like, homosexual activities, but you... You know what I'm saying? You got what you got going on with them set the trend. How am I supposed to sit there? Like, I wouldn't even respond. And he said he deaf is because why he's so defensive. I don't know, bro. I don't know if um I don't know if that makes that makes him gay because he got defensive about it. I don't know. I don't know. Hold on, let's see if we could oh, no, nah, I don't want to do it because it was they was dropping f bombs and all types of shit, and I'm trying to get this on. I'm trying to get this on YouTube. I ain't gonna hold you. All right, well there you have it, people. Drill pride, drill pride, my people, drill pride. All right. <laughs>